Yo, what's going on guys? Today I was gonna be playing some more Bannerlord and I finally got this mod working properly. Uh the biggest thing I was having trouble with before all the crashing and all the bullshit was the shader problem. The the major thing that I did to install this game and make it run properly. When you go to the old realm site here, uh the first one uh which the main version that I have is the the one point one, which is like the newest one at the moment. I know like they're eventually gonna update it, but Anyway, I'm using this one right here. So this is the, the 0 0.3, 0 0.3.0, uh, which works with the 1.1, which it shows it right there, 1.1. Um, so you just download that, and then you're also going to need Harmony. So you'll need to download the latest version of Harmony also, which is this one on the top here, which is version 2.2.2. Uh, um, so anyway, once you extract these you have to extract it into the bannerlord modules folder the same place where you will put all your mods so you put those folders in there and then you also have to put the harmony one in the same folder so before before you launch the game you want to make sure that you go to your c drive because it's most likely there and there's a programs data folder and it, it will be like hidden and i'm not sure how to unhide it but i'm pretty sure that there's probably a guide or something you open up the the program data folder it's going to be in there you'll see mountain blade banner lord and then shaders and you'll see this core shaders and terrain shaders you want to delete both of those so you know shift delete get rid of them and then um then you're going to go ahead and open up your launcher thing which let me see if it will load up i'm currently in the game right now so i'm trying not to like bug it out but let's see what happens okay it does open up the thing all right so in here you're going to go to your mods and since you already extracted the harmony and, and the other thing in there um you want to make sure that that's checked so harmony's checked and then um i have the the old realms you see and they're all in the same order that i placed it i didn't move anything around or anything um i literally just left it alone and then i just checked each of them so armory environment and then the core module that's it you want to make sure all your other mods are off just as a precaution just to make sure that it runs properly for its first time because when you load it up for the first time it's going to load up the loading screen and uh, you'll see the disc thing spin for like a second on the bottom right but then it'll freeze and it'll get stuck there and you're probably going to be waiting a long ass time mine i i had to wait in like an entire hour for the damn thing to load and when it finally loaded in um you'll see an option for uh building your shaders you're going to click on that and you're going to let it do that process too which will probably be another hour of sitting there waiting but this is all dependent on how fast your computer is or whatever i mean my my computer is pretty goddamn fast so i don't understand why it took that long but whatever it is what it is i just left the shit running uh went to go do other things in the house and then uh came back and then you know it eventually loads into a game with all the you know different men and all that stuff uh loaded up so that's it and then that's the process of that done and you want to exit out of that and actually start playing the game from there um and hopefully your shit works properly but like the main thing is to make sure that you delete the shaders first because if you don't delete the shaders then it's not going to save the new shaders that it's building or whatever for the two hours of all that process so yeah so it's it's a long ass process just to get this goddamn thing running but once it, it runs it's pretty goddamn cool because you got you got magic and stuff so you can do all that they got guns in this thing so you, you can shoot rifles and pistols and stuff which i haven't done yet but i've been really enjoying the magic right now it's pretty goddamn overpowered but <laughs> but it's fun as shit um another thing that that's really good um if you're into the magic thing um you could you can lower the cooldowns and also lower the, the the mana that's needed or whatever which they call it i forgot what they call it it's winds of magic recharge rate so that winds of magic thing is your mana basically um and it rejuvenates while you're just running around in um in in this view you know the the whole conquest view or whatever um so it recharges while it's doing that for some reason that part of the video got corrupted so i'm just going to guide you through it now so it's going to be under the modules folder and you're going to find the tor core you go inside there under module data and then you'll click on tor custom xml's and the very first one on the top is ability templates so you're going to open that with uh just notepad 
doesn't have to be anything specific or anything like that just regular notepad and right in here you'll have uh, all the stuff that you can edit so as you can see right here cooldown you can set that down to zero and the same thing with the winds of magic cost you can set that down to zero as well or you could change it to whatever number you want the fastest way to filter through this because you're gonna have to do it for each individual ability in the entire game you can hold control and press f and it'll bring up this and then from here you could like let's say copy copy this here paste it into this and then uh find each one so once you go ahead and you edit it you put zero go to find next and it's going to find the next one and you go ahead and edit it put it to zero next one and then just rinse and repeat for every single skill and you're going to do the same thing with the the winds of magic thing and that's it and then that's how you get uh basically hacked versions of all your skills so you could be able to spam like a maniac and go crazy and be the magic guy you always wanted to be so that's uh you could pretty much do that with every, every process in this whole game if you wanted to like hack everything but um it's pretty cool like now the game is fun for me now i'm having a good time because uh, like the thing that that really bothered me about the magic at first was that you run out of mana in like two seconds and then the cooldowns are like ridiculously long so that it didn't make it fun it just it made it like pretty boring so it, it got to the point where i was just going back and doing the normal banner lord stabbing people and i, I just got tired of doing that man like I, I didn't download i go through all this process of getting this crazy ass mod to not use the magic you know so fuck that so anyway uh let's go into a battle so you can see how the crazy the magic is let me fight this guy so boom attack watch this shit it's it's pretty goddamn overpowered, but watch this shit. All right, I'll leave my people back here. I'm on my own, guys. So I could summon zombies. So I could just summon like a million zombies if I wanted to. And then uh, I have this uh, throw blood thing. See, it's pretty badass. Look at that. I already wiped like the entire group. And then uh, I have this winds of death. This shit is ridiculous. See, it's like a poison. Oh, shit. I killed my teammates in the process of that. I didn't want to do that. Shit. There you go. You see? Like, they just faint. <laughs> and that winds of, of uh, death, look, it just keeps going and going and going. Die, bitch. Why aren't you dying of the freaking thing? And I also have a heal, too. Like, I can heal myself. There you go. Get hit with the bloods. That's it. GG.